Hello, this is Joshua Shustler, and I'd like to welcome you to my playthrough of Star Trek Bridge Commander. Uh, there's a lot of opening dialogue, so after this, I'm going to just let it play. <laughs> Captain on the bridge. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. On screen. Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. Starfleet has a delicate assignment for you. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi 2. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless for this mission. The captain recently was a guest lecturer at the Academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. When your mission is completed, deliver Captain Picard to Biranu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium. Time is of the essence, Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. Yes, the ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Thank you, Captain. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. I understand you served as this vessel's first officer. I knew Captain Wright. We went to the Academy together. You have my sincere condolences on his loss. However, if he saw fit to select you as his number one, I'm sure you'll do extremely well commanding the Dauntless. I would like to introduce you to your new first officer, Commander Safi Larson. Captain, I'm looking forward to working with you. Commander Larson, if you will take your station. Commander Larson will keep track of your mission objectives and current orders, Captain. Your first officer can be the greatest resource at your disposal. As a former first, you've already had that experience yourself. Commander Larson, bring us to Condition Green and ready the ship for departure. Aye, sir. Condition Green. All hands rig for departure. Chief, please bring the main deflector, warp drive, and impulse engines online. And make sure our warp intermix ratio is at optimum efficiency. Aye, Captain. Main deflector and main drive systems register as ready. Mr. Diaz, bring main sensors online. Check that all worker bees in the area are clear. Yes, sir. Main sensors online. Registering all worker bees out of dry dock area, Captain. Mr. Savali, please bring the structural integrity fields online and make sure our tactical systems are primed and ready. Shields and defensive systems registering is fully operational, sir. We have a full torpedo complement and the structural integrity fields are engaged for transit. Ensign Lomar, clear all moorings and take us out easy. One quarter impulse. Please signal the quartermaster. We're heading out. Signaling dry dock. All moorings cleared. One quarter impulse. Aye. A Federation vessel is only as good as its crew. This point cannot be overstated. It is this interaction with a well-trained crew that allows a starship to operate with a singular purpose. So, we've almost cleared the, cleared the opening dialogue. As you might have already gathered, this is a Star Captain Trek Bridge, Bridge Simulator. Is if you would like, take a moment Excuse to inspect me, each of the stations. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Yeah, we're not going to need any advice. This... Captain, it is always <clears> a good <throat> idea to check with your first officer to confirm your current orders. Yes, Captain. Sir, we should head to Starbase 12. As I was trying to say, as I was sir. trying Captain to would say. Be very proud of you. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. <clears throat> yes, Captain. This game was a rather large part of my childhood. Never did quite get around to finishing it, but I have definitely played through the first few missions several times. It's definitely an interesting take on... We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. If you'd let Shall me finish... Shall I bring us in closer to the Starbase, sir? We will not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the Starbase. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying to the Starbase nav point. De yes, sir? Definitely in an interesting take... Yes, sir. ...on a space combat game. 
which, if I recall correctly, this does essentially become, especially towards the later missions, where the difficulty increases so much that you really don't want to rely on your own ship's AI combat, because you will die. Incoming message from Starbase 12, sir. But it's a nice thought to have a bridge. Good day, Dauntless. I'm Commander Graf, commander here at Starbase 12. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. We will transfer them over to your cargo base once you've docked. Shall I initiate docking procedures, Captain? Your orders, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Starbase 12 is the main staging area for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. Welcome to your home away from home, Captain. We are secure to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. Cargo base three and four report supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Transporter room two reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Now, Bridge Commander itself was released in, I believe, 2002. However, until a few years ago, there was an incredibly active modding scene. Like, I mean, for a game released in 2002, people were still releasing major modifications in 2010. It was really quite Your impressive. Your orders, sir? I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't have any suggestions at this time. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Anyway. The opening basic plot of Bridge Commander is that the former command captain, rather, of your starship got killed in a mysterious event, and now you both got a promotion and have to basically investigate and recover from said mysterious event. We have event. arrived at the edge of the Vesuvi system, sir. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. I'm more than likely add a separate YouTube this video. This is Director to the Tobin for this Solves. Series. It's good to see you, Dauntless. We have quite a situation on our hands. Oh, no, cinematic. The Vesuvi event has sent stellar debris into our region. Some larger pieces have settled near our orbital facility. This debris will make it impossible for the incoming supply convoy to transfer their cargo. Before you beam down the relief supplies to the surface, please clear the area around the orbital facility. Contact me when you are done. Thank you. Soames out. Not the most challenging assignment, but it'll be a good weapons test. Perhaps now will be a good time to look over the tactical system. No, now would not be a good time. Your orders, sir? Red alert, shields up. Your orders, sir? Your orders, Captain. Intercept course, plotted. Now, this being the very first combat scenario of the game, I didn't really feel the need to take control of the vessel myself. Your orders, Captain? Engaging to destroy, Captain. I am fairly certain my weapons officer orders, sir? can handle asteroids himself. It'd be kind of sad if he couldn't. What I'm doing here is just uh, adjusting the weapons, the power, rather, so you get this Moving into attack range more quickly. I don't really need shields when my opponent is an asteroid. I'm more than likely going to be sweeping through phaser arcs. <clears throat> Cut, cutting out or fast forwarding any future combat, but I feel like I should probably include the full thing for any new enemies we have. After all, I'm sure Moving you'd be into terribly disappointed if you didn't get to see me fighting asteroids for the first time. These particular asteroids are supposed to have come from a solar system destroying star explosion moving into which attack is range rather interesting considering that as i understand it that was in a different solar system in this one area called That's the maelstrom the the shall i raise the colony they got sir? here incredibly quickly yes sir cancel red alert captain sir the orbital facility is currently unmanned that's no Hailing excuse not to hail it. Thank you for clearing the station, but it looks like we have bigger problems now. The sensors on our orbital facility have just picked up a number of planetary fragments on a collision course with our planet. 
We are already in a weakened state after the Vesuvi event, and it's doubtful we could take many hits. Director Soames, get your people into whatever shelters you have available. We'll do what we can from up here. Thank you, Dauntless. Soames out. I recommend an initial scan of the area so we can get a better idea of what we're up against. We're up against asteroids, Jean-Luc. Yes, Captain? They're not going to attack us. Initiating scan. Captain? Picking up the fragments in our sensor, sir. Looks like we have a total of five large planetary fragments in two groups. Looks like they're all headed toward Haven. If we can get to them quickly enough, there's a pretty good chance yes, we Captain? can take them all out. Stellar cartography should be able yes, to Captain? present a good idea of the fragment's relative distance to the colony. Should we go to Red Alert, sir? Your orders, sir? Yes, we have to Red warn Alert the crew about up. the dangerous yes, asteroids. Captain? Intercept course plotted. Captain? And do keep in mind, we're, just, we're blowing up sir, asteroids which are destined to hit a planet. planet. We might still have time to catch them. I'm fairly certain there's an actual Star Trek episode which pointed out how that is a terrible idea. Since, after all, you'll just be spreading more and more fragments on a wider surface area of the planet. Maybe our phasers are just that good. Perhaps Your Lieutenant orders, Captain Valley should be given the order to destroy the target. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Yeah, thanks, John Luke. I had no idea I should do that. Sir, we did it. All incoming fragments have been reduced to non-lethal sizes. We are being you, hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. Yes. The people of Haven owe you and your crew a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and Moving into thinking. attack range. What? Again, no, we thank don't. you. If you yes, will Captain? put your ship into orbit, we can transfer the relief supplies. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Yes, sir. So same before Cancel us. Red alert. So yes, rudely Captain? interrupted. Yes, Captain. We've finished destroying the asteroids. Standard orbit. Captain. Aye, sir. Can't even get five words in. Worst bridge crew. Entering standard orbit. Incoming transmission. I am sending coordinates for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Coordinates received, Captain. Our teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately. Admiral Liu told us what happened to the Dragos colony. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outpost survived the effects of the disturbance. Sir, all supplies and equipment have been beamed down. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Transport complete. We can get underway, Captain. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our space dock facilities for refitting. She's manned by a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds of prey. Her captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive, and she's had to lay over in the Tevron system. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnu Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. So, there's not much more to do here than yes, Captain. go where we're, told, where we're told to go. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Leaving orbit. I'm not going to cut those loading screens out. They're just two seconds long, practically. Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Any sign of the Sovereign and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? I have three ships holding in orbit around Tevron 2, Commander. Captain? Captain? Believe it or not, the game is going to yes, sir. tell us to... Your orders, Captain. Intercept course, plot. I don't even know yes, what I'm Captain. talking about. Hmm. That's the Sovereign, Captain. And two so birds this is the cinematic prey. view. Shall I hail the Sovereign, sir? Your orders, Captain. Uh. Channel open. Captain Soto, sir. 
On screen. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. I'm glad to see you here. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking some time. We've had to take the Impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. This would have been only a ferrying assignment. He's undoubtedly short-handed. Incoming message, sir. Which Captain is, Draxon of the Rancoop, just sir. Said, isn't it? On screen. Hail, Captain! Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Biranu Station. However, there is something you must know before we leave. My tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Suspicious in what way, sir? Two very faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two vessels, cloaked. Your scanners could be out of sync. Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No! I speak truth. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Be on guard, Captain. Excuse me, Jackson sirs, out. but we have company. Well, that was rude of you to interrupt him. Uncloaking to starboard. This is not just me. They have that too. As you can tell by the music, this is going to be our first ship-to-ship -ship combat. Us, On screen. Greetings, Captain. I am Torren, commanding the warbird Soyak. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? The Romulan Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. The Enterprise has been patrolling the Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign-class ship to the Maelstrom. A somewhat disputed area. We must question the reasons for its presence, and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign-class vessels raise vast suspicions, Commander. Suspicions we are prepared to act on. Now. Sir, the Klingons have raised their shields and are powering up weapons. Let us see if these Romulans are truly prepared to act on these failed threats. Who is threatening whom, Klingon? I do not threaten. I challenge. The Klingons have opened fire, Captain. Very well. They're firing on we the shall Sovereign. Claim. The Sovereign has taken some hits. Incoming transmission. Jarvis, we're losing shield effect. Down 25%. I'm shifting more power to the shield, but I don't think they'll hold. Shall we go to red alert, sir? Your orders, sir? Red alert, shields up. Captain? Now, here I am again adjusting the power because we really don't need our Captain? engines With or respect, sensors sir. for this. Are we just going to watch the Sovereign be destroyed? The Dauntless is your ship, Captain. The choice is yours. I'm fairly your certain orders, my actions sir? are already... Warbirds uncloaking again. They're firing. Captain Jackson on screen. We are attacking on an Adiba. Join us. I'm already. Looks like the Klingons are doing a good job at distracting the warbirds. While the Romulans are busy with the birds of prey, we can take a moment to plan our attack. The Your phase of fire will be more effective if you target specific subsystems of the warbirds. Yes, sir. Yeah, he is right about that. Targeting subsystems is an entirely valid tactic. Yeah, we're, we're targeting their cloaking device. We've taken some yes, as it is what we're supposed to do. Up the torpedo checking with chief and prioritize repair. As it turns out, Romulan warboards have much Captain. more defensive capabilities than asteroids. Who would have thought? Sweeping through phase rocks. I suppose now may be a good time to explain the power system. There's three power bits that provide power. The first one has more or less an Lighting infinite supply, torpedoes. but as your warp core gets damaged, there's Sir, we are draining their smaller top shield. space for your sensor bits to take up, which causes them to go into the other two power reserves. Which are not infinite. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Also, we're fighting the Romans. So there's that. Now, yes, 
something? No. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Yes, Captain? <laughs> As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by my past self, your shields each have six yes, different sir? areas which can take damage separately. When you're controlling the vessel yourself, you want to make Sweeping sure that you're arms. being hit Captain, in areas which aren't turning right right shield. Also, it's important to prioritize which yes, systems Captain. are getting repaired, but really, you didn't need to be told that, did you? Damaging the cloaking device will put the Romulans at disadvantage. Thanks, Jean-Luc. That's, that's what I have targeted. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Now, the system on the Romulan Warboard, which has turned gray there, um, has been disabled. That's what gray means. Disabled. So that's interesting. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Sir, their aft shield is gray. Yes, Fun fact. Apparently, it's apparently the um, Lining up person commanding a Romulan warboard is called a commander and not a captain. Our first officer ma has made a mistake, which might be explainable the by the fact that she's new to this. Looks like we've bloodied their noses a bit. They're turning about and floating. We've taken some damage, Captain. I would recommend that you check with your chief. Yes, and I've been doing that, Jean Luc. You don't need to tell me that. Your orders, sir? See? Everything's good. Yay, we won. Where are they? Your orders, Come sir? On. Uncloak again. Stand down weapons. You don't get your wish, Ensign. All stations, yellow Looks like alert. They've gone. Klingon birds of prey uncloaking. The correctly sound Captain is an indication that we're somehow on screen. falling into the planet's atmosphere. It's past time for us to As go is on that to orange new station, Captain. Although, this has been an interesting skirmish. I am also due at Viranu Station, Captain Draxon. With your permission, I will transfer to your ship for the final leg of the journey. We will be honored by your presence, Captain. Make your preparations and transport to us when you are ready. Draxon, out. I'll take my leave of you now, Captain. Good luck. Famous Picard maneuver. Not entirely sure it's necessary for these uniforms, but hey, the game developers included it because apparently they felt like pandering Transporter to the fans. Transporter room reports Captain Picard is ready to beam over to the Rancouf, sir. Your orders, Captain? Lowering shields for transport. Transporting now. Captain Picard has transferred to the Klingon ship. Long-range scanners indicate another ship entering this system. It's the Zukov. Incoming message from the Zukov, sir. Captain Verada in command, on screen. Dauntless, we have been assigned to complete the escort of the Sovereign to Space Dock. We will stand by until she is ready. You may proceed to the Vesuvi system to supply the surviving colonies there. Verata, out. Transmission from Sovereign, sir. The diagrams behind him were galaxy-class ships. We've been able to make sufficient the Zukov repairs to allow us is to in fact an ambassador-class ship, and while it could conceivably have had its bridge swapped for a galaxy-class so bridge, well. the Klingons are leaving, it sir. wouldn't make I sense. I suggest we do the same. We have to complete diagrams. our run to the Vesuvi system, sir. Starfleet regulations require us to drop out of warp at the edge of the Vesuvi system before proceeding yes, to sir? the inner planet. And planets. here you can tell. Why Course laid a in. lot of the British yes, command Captain. community tended to hate Safi. She's annoying. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I could tell I wasn't having much luck coming up with anything to say, so that's probably going to be the only one. Thanks for being willing to let me waste half an hour of your time.